Everything seems to have a circuit board today. Consumers want to stay connected to the world in any condition or climate. And manufacturers go to great lengths to test their products at extreme temperatures to ensure their products will work. So AES RF temperature chambers are unique. Uh, we're one of the only manufacturers in the world that manufactures a temperature chamber that has RF shielding uh, at the level of attenuation that we have. Companies use um, temperature RF chambers for testing their products uh, at different temperature levels in the Arctic or in the desert. And they want to make sure that their products are still operating the same way, still um, outputting the same uh, energy or radio frequencies. Until now, Testing products under shielded conditions has been difficult. Associated Environmental Systems has developed an environmental test chamber that shields RF waves. The sealed workspace blocks radio waves from entering the chamber so you can verify the product's RF output, but it also shields any from getting out, making it safer for employees to test products with strong attenuation. RF environmental test chambers allow you to have one and five cubic feet of shielded workspace. These chambers have an interface panel with specialized connectors for the customer, allowing them to monitor RF output within the chamber and turn the products on and off. RF environmental test chambers contain key components to help them function properly, including a mesh filtered honeycomb grid, an EMI semi-metallic conductive gasket that lines a chamber door to block RF signals, entering and leaving the workspace. AES RF chambers pass through rigorous checkpoints to deliver high quality chambers. Finally, RF chambers take a ride to NTS, a recognized national test facility for extensive independent EMI testing and certification, ensuring each chamber meets AES's and your strict specifications. Once there, the chambers are connected to sensors to gather readings on both the ambient sound and the radio frequency waves emitted by the testing engineers. For the chambers to successfully pass, each chamber must shield all outside radio frequency waves from entering and leaving the chamber workspace. Only then can an RF chamber be delivered with a certificate to your facility.